Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Mode. and in this tutorial uh, of API testing in Postman we are going to understand how what is collection runner and how we can use it. So let's move on to the demo part. So here we are in a Postman right now and I have already created a demo collection with one request name as get post one. Okay, so let me give in. Uh, so whenever I click on send and it will give me this result. This is our API basically returning our certain key value pairs in a JSON format. So what we are going to do is that we will be looking mainly looking at this runner tab. But before that what we have to do is that we have to add certain tests to it right. And so what we can do is that we can click on this test test and let's add few of the tests that we want to test for this particular API. The first thing first we have to test that the response time should be less than. 200 so when you click on this uh, orange text it will automatically pop up the results for you uh, it automatically pop up the pre calculated code for you okay so you need to understand this code for if you want to do advanced test cases in postman so this is our first test case and the second test case will be and i will be adding this as uh, checking the body equal to string so here what we are doing is that we are basically checking that this particular string suppose we want to test user id should be there this should be in the test this should be in the api resulted api okay so this is the board that we want to test right now okay so third thing we want to test is let's do let's add certain thing okay so we want to check the json value and what we want is that we'll basically want that uh, id so i'll say my id json dot value it's not value basically it's a json dot id and and it's equal to one so these are three test cases cases and let's send again and as you can see only two of them are failing and third one is passing okay two of them are failing because uh, let's remove this one actually and we don't want this one and let's see let's okay so two of them are passing now let's move on to runner tab so this is a collection runner tab and it will give you the exactly how how many test cases are failing in your particular collection so uh, here you can see the all the recent uh, collection that i have learned and it's a choose a collection tab let's choose our demo one and here we don't have any kind of environment rate yet for this demo collection but uh, if you have and check out my other video where i have explained what are the environments how, how you can manage the environment how you can use the environments so i have lots of different environments but right now i don't using it so how many iterations that you want to do with it? do for this collection for example there are certain times when you want to pretty sure about it and you want to run those collection five time ten times and all so i will be making this as a one and the third tab will be discussing about how what, what are the delay that you want for after first request and second request so right now in our collection it's only has a word request but suppose it has a ten request and you want that particular after a particular time or a delay the next uh, request should be executed so here you mention mention it and log responses is basically giving you for what are the logs that you want for it for example if you want only for all request pass request or no no request and here the data file basically it's a file uh, where you can just import your data from excel and suppose and you can use the variables or not i will be explaining this kind of uh, excel importing and all in the next coming tutorial and yeah you know, this is option related to that variable and what we can do is that we'll just cl click on it and click on start run so as you can see it's uh, giving us very nicely ui where yes uh, it's mentioning that our body is incorrect and uh, two of them are passed and one is fail and uh, this is the summary and you can just you know, see how it's going going out and one we can do is that we can export these results and we can just try it out again if we want if you are not sure that it is a request and as you can see the 200 okay as to record we are getting and the request is taking this one minute of second and so and here you can 
uh, basically uh, do a filter on them it's uh, the fails versus pass so and uh, this is a there is a one more click where you can just click on click on command line and it will give you the new, new man result and we are not using it so this is how you use a collection runner and it's very principled and simple and uh, hope to see you uh, in the next video and let me know what are the videos that you want to see and do comment out if you are not able to understand anything and if you want and if it is okay and all please comment it out and we are learning together and hope to see you in the next video thank you guys